Welcome to another video from Inzara.com. In this video, I will be providing an overview of the new Invoice Manager Excel template. In the following video, I will be doing a step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the template. But in this video, I will be going over the features and the functionality of the template. And I will also take you around the template in a quick tour. This template is available from Inzara.com and then I will be putting a link to the product page in the video description below. If you have any questions or suggestions, please post them in the comments below. Now let's get started. The purpose of this template is to be a simple and effective tool to manage all the invoices and payments for your small business. The key benefits of this template are that it will automatically apply the payments to the invoices so you don't have to necessarily figure out which payment should go to which invoices if the customer is making bulk payments and so the template will automatically be able to calculate that. It allows you to see which invoices are past due and which customers are owing the most balance so allows you to take action to reach out to the customers and collect the balances. It will give you good insights about which customers and invoice categories are bringing revenue to your business. There is also a customer report which will show all or past due invoices for a single customer at a time. You can also choose to print it. Now let's go and take a live tour of the template where I will explain the key features in the template. Now I have the template open. The first important feature of this template is the simplified data entry framework. So the data entry is done in only two sheets, the invoices sheet and the payment sheet. The invoices sheet is where you will enter each of your invoices and one row for each invoice. And then you will be able to provide information on who the customer is, what is the date of the invoice, amount of the invoice, and then also how many days, in how many days will that invoice be due. And you can also optionally categorize the invoices in order to get better insights about which products or services are generating more revenue for your business. So this is where you will enter invoice, very simple and straightforward, and automatically the status of the invoices will be calculated, which will, as the color indicates here, whether they have been paid in full, whether they are current, past due, uh, all of that information would be readily updated. The second data entry mechanism is the payments, where you'll be entering every single payment that the customers have made to your business, so in this case, I've entered them uh, by date, the amount that was paid by which customer, and also to which invoice does the customer make that payment for. And the template um, will allow you to handle invoice payments as well as bulk payments where you will not enter any invoice number. It'll just be blank, which means um, the customer is making a bulk payment. So simple data entry framework where payments are entered in one sheet, invoices are entered in one sheet. That's it, there's no more data entry needed. Everything else is fully automated. Now, the second important feature of this template is the fact that it can handle multiple types of payments. So for example, as I mentioned, this is an invoice payment because this amount is paid towards the specific invoice. And you will also notice that multiple uh, payments can go against the same invoice number you can have multiple payments which means partial payments full payments multiple payments against an invoice are supported in addition bulk payments are supported which means the customer is making a payment not towards a one specific invoice but against multiple invoices um, all all the open invoices the customer could be making one bulk payment and so the template will automatically apply the bulk payments and distribute it to the open invoices in the order in which the invoices were entered in the invoices sheet. So that is automatically taken care of by the template's logic. The template can also handle overpayment. If there was an extra payment made against the invoice amount, then the template will still capture that and record that in the customer report, which we will see shortly. And here you have a quick update on by month, how many, uh, how much payments were received. And all you have to do is once you enter the data, you just hit data, refresh all, and then this will get updated. Now let's move on to the third important feature of the template, which is the dashboard. 
So the dashboard is meant to provide you with a very high level summary of um, performance of the invoices. So essentially total invoice amount, total paid amount, and what is the balance. And then it allows you to slice this dashboard by invoice date. So you can look at most recent invoices versus old invoices. So you have control over that. And uh, for example, I can just look at all the invoices in 2019. It looks like I didn't enter any data for 2019. Let's say January 2020. So for example, if I only want to see one month at a time, I can do that and everything updates instantly. And then now I can see the complete history. Now the invoice amount by invoice month shows you the trend of revenue to your company in terms of the invoice date or invoice month. And then the balance amount is when these amounts are going to be due. So this allows you to give a give, uh, have a future projected um, revenue or income um, projection. So in this case, I expect 950 to be available in April to be, you know, 1000 in June. So this gives you a very good insight into your future revenue. And then invoice amount by category allows you to see which products or which service, however you want to categorize the invoices, you can see which ones are performing better for your company or business. There's also a top 10 customers by invoice amount tells you which customers are bringing the most revenue top 10 customers with balance. This tells you which customers owe the most right now to your business. Now let's move on to the fourth important feature of this template, which is the unpaid invoices report. This report once again is automatically updated. You don't have to do anything uh, to create this report. It, it, as the name indicates, the unpaid invoices report shows all the unpaid invoices and it breaks it into the current invoice versus past due. Current means they are not due yet and then um, past due means they passed the due date. And so we have four invoices um, which are unpaid, uh, which are not due yet. And you can see the breakdown of when they will become due uh, and then the amount. And then similarly for the past due, you will see the past due age and then uh, number of invoices and the amounts. Below, we have the actual invoice number, invoice amount for, when I say four invoices are current, you will see the four invoice numbers here. Four invoices are past due, you see the four invoices here. Um, and then the information is, gets updated. And if you have more than 20, because this is meant to show 20 at a time, and you can just type in a number instead of one, if I type in 21, then it will actually go and pull up 21 to 40, because I only have four, let me demonstrate by showing two. So if I start with two, it goes until 21 and it'll show two, three, four invoice. So essentially 20 invoices at a time can be displayed here. 20 invoices at a time can be displayed here. And it's ready to be printed. So you, if you want to print it, you can also print this one. The fifth important feature of this template is a customer report. And this customer report, as the name indicates, you can just type in a customer. Um, let me just, uh, See, for example, we want to know the customer one. So I would just type in customer one and then I will get the report for customer one. And the total invoice amount, paid amounts are shown both by invoice and bulk payments. And then the balance amount is shown current or past due or if there is any overpayment done by the customer, you'll still be able to see it. And then I can also show only the past due invoices if I want to. So you see that this customer has three invoices Two have been paid in full, one is past due, and I can just show past due invoices if I want to. And this is again ready to be printed, so you can choose to um, print and share as PDF with your customer if you need to. And this report can show up to 30 invoices at a time, and similarly you can just type a different number to be able to show the next 30 invoices uh, if you need to. Now that covers the key features of the template. It's very, very simple and effective way of managing your invoices and payments. And then there is um, a limit by default of 5,000 invoices that you can enter in the invoices sheet and still the dashboard and every report will work fine. Um, if you need to extend beyond the 5,000, it's pretty easy and you can reach out to me and I can um, put out an article about how to extend beyond 5,000. By default, it's limited to 5,000 invoices. If you have any questions about the features of this template, please 
uh, post them in the comment section below if you have any questions or if you like the template please post them in the comment section below um, as i mentioned in the following video i will be uh, taking a step-by-step -step instructions about how to enter data into the invoices table how to enter data in the payments so i'll be going through step-by-step -step, uh, demo thank you very much for watching